Amidst the whirlwind of events that assail our daily lives, we often find ourselves navigating stormy seas of uncertainties and challenges. It's not uncommon that, in these moments, fear creeps into our hearts, subtle as the breeze, but capable of unleashing devastating internal storms. However, it is precisely in this scenario of starless nights and turbulent seas that a radiant light emerges, defying the darkness. This light, unwavering and pure, has the power to dispel the densest shadows of doubt and fear, illuminating our path with hope and faith. The key to keeping this light burning brightly in our lives lies in what we choose to nourish our spirits. Just as the body requires nutrients to stay strong and healthy, our spirit demands a special sustenance, the Word of God, an endless source of wisdom and comfort. The importance of being intentional about the choices we make, about what we hear, read, and how we act, cannot be underestimated. Every decision, no matter how small, contributes to building a fortress within us, a safe refuge against life's adversities. It is through diligent nurturing of our faith that this fortress becomes impenetrable, capable of withstanding the most violent storms. The Bible teaches us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of Christ, Romans 10, 17. Therefore, as we delve into the scriptures, we nourish our faith and strengthen our souls. Allow me to ask you, how solid is the foundation upon which you build your refuge? Remember the parable of the wise and foolish builders. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and when the rains came, the floods, and the winds beat upon the house, it did not fall, for it was founded upon the rock. Matthew 7, 24, 25. So should our faith be, built upon the rock that is the Word of God, immune to life's storms. I invite you then to reflect on the choices you have made to nourish your spirit. Are they aligned with the teachings of the Lord, strengthening your faith and illuminating your path? The Bible, our sacred scripture, transcends being merely a collection of ancient texts. It is indeed the sword of the Spirit, a powerful and unbreakable tool granted to us to combat life's adversities, including the dreaded fear. Within its pages, we find divine promises that encompass healing, provision, and encouragement, words that feed our soul and strengthen our spirit. The verse from Isaiah 41, 10 is a clear example of this strength offered to us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words echo like a hymn of courage and faith, a promise that we are not alone even in the darkest moments. They are not mere advice, they are the living assurance of a God who remains faithful, a radiant beacon of hope that guides us through the darkness. This verse invites us to place our trust in God's constant presence and unwavering righteousness, reminding us that His strength and support never fail us. Every word spoken by God carries the weight of eternal truth, capable of transforming fear into faith, despair into hope. It is this truth that enables us to face each day with courage, knowing that, regardless of the battles we may face, we have by our side a God who never forsakes us. Like David, who faced the giant Goliath not with his own strength, but trusting in the power of the Lord, 1 Samuel 17. We are called to face our own giants with the certainty that victory is already ours through Him who strengthens us. Therefore, may we firmly grasp the promises of God, allowing them to illuminate our path and dispel every shadow of fear. May with each step we take, we remember God's faithfulness, our eternal refuge and strength. And may this remembrance encourage us to walk always in faith, even when the road ahead seems uncertain. The story of the Israelites at the shores of the Red Sea is one of the most powerful demonstrations of God's unparalleled power, a narrative that transcends time and continues to inspire unwavering faith in the hearts of those who hear it. Before them, the vast Red Sea, behind the relentless advance of the Egyptian army. The situation seemed hopeless, a dead end where the hope of liberation seemed to fade. However, it was precisely in this moment 
faced with the impossible, that God manifested his power in a spectacular way, opening a path in the midst of the sea for his people to pass on dry land. This marvel not only saved the Israelites from their pursuers, but also served as an eternal testimony of God's power to do the unimaginable, to transform despair into victory and fear into faith. This monumental event in biblical history vividly illustrates God's invitation for us to trust in His power and His supernatural ability to create paths where there are none. Behold, I am making all things new, declares the Lord in Revelation 21. 5. A reminder that, in God's hands, endings are only new beginnings, and the impossible is the stage for His miracles. God is the supreme artist of recreation, able to move mountains, part seas, and bring forth opportunities where, to our eyes, they seem not to exist. Each story of miracle, each testimony of faith in the midst of adversity, echoes this transformative power of God. We are invited, therefore, to place our trust in this God who rewrites stories, who turns endings into new beginnings, and who guides us through paths that once seemed non-existent. Just like the Israelites faced with the Red Sea, we may find ourselves in situations that test our faith, confronting seas that seem impossible to cross. But the message that God leaves us through His miraculous actions is clear. He is the Lord of all circumstances, the Creator of paths in the desert, the God who calls us to walk by faith and not by sight. May we then, in the face of challenges and seemingly hopeless situations, lift our eyes to the God who makes all things new, trusting that He will lead us to a future filled with hope and fulfilled promises. May this trust in God be the light that illuminates our path, encouraging us to move forward, steadfast in the faith that, with God, all paths lead to victory. The journey of faith is traversed day by day, step by step, on a path that leads us through mountains of joy and valleys of challenges. Along this journey, the need to delve into the knowledge and meditation of Scripture arises not only as a guide, but as essential nourishment for our souls, capable of strengthening our faith and dispelling the shadows of fear that often try to obscure our path. When we fill our hearts with God's eternal truths, we allow His divine light to illuminate the darkest areas of our existence, causing fear, that cold chain that tries to imprison us, to lose its power and dominion over us. In its place, a solid confidence is born, forged in the certainty that, alongside God, we are more than conquerors, capable of facing any adversity with our heads held high and our hearts steadfast. This transformation does not happen overnight. It is the result of a daily commitment to renew our minds through the Word of God. Every verse we read, every word we meditate on, serves as a brick in the construction of an inner fortress, a sanctuary of peace and serenity that life's storms cannot shake. As we draw near to the heart of God, immersing ourselves in the depths of His Word, we discover an oasis of peace that the world cannot offer. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4, 7, offering us a safe refuge against the assaults of fear and uncertainty. Therefore, I encourage you to make this journey of knowledge and meditation in Scripture a daily practice, a sacred habit that enriches your soul and strengthens your faith. May each day as you delve into divine truths, you feel the comforting presence of God enveloping you guiding you to a life of victory and overcoming. Always remember that, with God by your side, there is no fear that persists, nor challenge that cannot be overcome. May this truth resonate in your heart, strengthening your journey with confidence and hope as you draw ever closer to the heart of God and His unshakable peace. Choosing faith over fear is a powerful decision, a choice that redefines the course of our lives. It is an act of rebellion against the world's expectations, a bold declaration that we will not be governed by the shadows of uncertainty. Indeed, faith and fear cannot dwell in the same space. They are like light and darkness, where the presence of one automatically nullifies the other. Choosing faith is therefore letting go of fear, 
deciding to live under a light that not only illuminates our path, but also warms us with God's constant presence. Faith invites us to lift our gaze, to fix our eyes, not on the tumultuous waves around us, but on the God who walks on the waters, who rules over all things, and who extends His hand, inviting us to do the same. This choice for faith teaches us to see beyond the visible, to see with the eyes of the heart. Faith gives us a new vision, a divine perspective that turns obstacles into opportunities, fear into courage. It teaches us to see possibilities where the world only points to the impossible. This vision of faith is fueled by the confidence that, with God, all things are possible, that there is no mountain too high for Him to move, nor sea too stormy for Him to calm. Through faith, we learn to walk on the waters of uncertainty, guided by God's firm hand, discovering with each step that true power does not reside in our own strength, but in He who calls us to the adventure of faith. Therefore, as we encounter the challenges and fears that inevitably arise in our path, let us make the choice for faith. May we look beyond the immediate circumstances, fixing our eyes on the God who promises to be with us always, even to the end of the age. May this faith allow us to see with the eyes of the heart, recognizing in each challenge an opportunity to witness the transformative power of God in our lives. And thus, walking by faith and not by sight, may our journey be marked by unwavering confidence in the God who loves us, guides us, and never forsakes us. Identifying the origin of our fear is the first step to confronting it effectively, a task that requires courage and honesty to look within ourselves and acknowledge our vulnerabilities. However, the true power to overcome fear is not found in our own strength or in the illusory security we try to build around us. This power comes from unwavering trust in God, in the certainty that He is in control of everything. Even when our circumstances seem to be in total chaos, life is full of uncertainties, of situations that challenge our peace and security. However, faith teaches us that our true security is not determined by what we can see or control, but by who controls the universe. God, in His sovereignty, is not surprised by life's storms. He walks with us through them, offering His hand as guide and sustenance. In every moment of doubt or uncertainty, we are invited to place our trust in God, the only one who is unchanging amidst a world in constant flux. This trust is not a leap in the dark, but a step of faith based on God's character, on His promises that extend throughout Scripture, and on His proven faithfulness throughout history. By doing so, we are choosing to believe that, despite the volatile circumstances around us, there is a greater plan at work, a divine purpose that transcends our immediate understanding. This perspective not only lightens the burden of fear, but also empowers us to face uncertainty with a peace that can only come from knowing and trusting in God. Therefore, let us make trust in God our default response to every situation that arouses fear in our hearts. May this trust not be shaken by life's storms, but strengthened with each challenge, reminding us that our security does not depend on circumstances, but on the God who governs them. In every moment of uncertainty, may we remember to place our trust in the One who is immutable, resting in the assurance that, under His care, we are truly safe, no matter what may come. This is the essence of faith, the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, a secure anchor for our souls amidst life's storms. Embracing a posture of active faith is to embrace a dynamic role in our spiritual journey, recognizing that we are more than mere spectators of God's works. We are participants invited to collaborate with Him in the grand design of our lives. This collaboration is not passive. It is marked by fervent prayer, continuous praise, and actions guided by unwavering confidence that God is sovereignly in control of all things. When we actively engage in our faith, we not only declare our trust in God's power and providence, but also position ourselves as protagonists of our own faith story, co-authors alongside the author of life, writing each chapter with the ink of trust and hope. God calls us to be co-authors on this journey, 
to unite our limited strength with His omnipotence, our finite perspectives with His eternal vision. This means that, in every situation, we are moved by faith to pray with conviction, to praise in the midst of storms, and to act with the certainty that our steps are guided by Him. This act of faith transforms us from the inside out, propelling us forward even when the path ahead seems uncertain. It is a faith that does not settle for passively waiting for God's movements, but seeks, through prayer, praise, and action, to understand and participate in His redeeming plan for our lives and the world around us. This divine partnership reminds us that, although God is the creator and sustainer of the universe, He has chosen to work through us, His children, to manifest His kingdom on earth. Thus, every prayer we lift, every act of praise, and every step of faith are instruments in God's hands, tools with which He shapes our story and the stories of those around us. Therefore, may we embrace this calling with fervent hearts and willing hands, confident that as we collaborate with God, we are participating in something greater than ourselves, the ongoing revelation of His glory and love to the world. May this posture of active faith inspire us to walk with confidence knowing that every step we take in faith is a step toward God's divine purpose for our lives. And as we progress, may our lives be a testimony to the transformative power of faith, a reflection of God's light shining through us, drawing others closer to Him, while together, as co-authors with the Creator, we write stories of faith that will echo throughout eternity. Deciding to trust in God in the face of fear is truly an act of courage and deep surrender. It is a choice that challenges human logic, opting to place our faith in the invisible, in God's supreme power, rather than surrendering to the tangible evidence of fear surrounding us. This decision is not trivial. It requires a strength that we often do not know we have until we make that choice. Trusting in God amidst adversities is recognizing that even when the waves threaten to engulf us, there is an outstretched hand capable of saving us, of guiding us to calmer waters. It is remembering that He is the God of miracles, the one who calms storms, who feeds thousands with only five loaves and two fish, who makes the impossible possible. This surrender and trust in God form the foundation of a life lived in the fullness of faith. The fullness of faith does not mean that we will be exempt from facing challenges or moments of fear. On the contrary, it is the certainty that, no matter the size of the challenge, we do not walk alone. God is with us every step of the way, holding our hand, guiding us with love and wisdom through each situation. This certainty radically transforms the way we approach life, for we know that, come what may, we have a God who is greater than any problem, any fear, any uncertainty. Therefore, let us make the decision to trust in God our default response in the face of fear. May this choice of faith not be merely a sporadic moment of inspiration, but a constant posture of our hearts, a renewed commitment each day. As we face the storms of life, may our faith be the anchor that holds us steady, the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path. May the certainty of God's presence and power in our lives give us the strength to face each challenge with courage, knowing that with Him we can overcome anything. And may this confidence in God be the hallmark of a life lived not in the shadow of fear, but in the radiant light of faith, bearing witness to the world the beauty and strength of trusting in a God who never leaves us alone. I invite you wholeheartedly to make a transformative choice today, to reject the paralyzing fear and embrace the liberating faith. Allow yourself to live fully in the assurance of God's constant presence and immeasurable power in your life. May each dawn be for you a vibrant symbol of God's faithfulness, a tangible reminder that no matter how dark the night may have been, light always prevails. Let every step you take be guided by the light of God's truth, walking with confidence and purpose, knowing that He illuminates the path ahead of you. Always remember, with God by your side, you possess a strength that surpasses any fear, a wisdom that dispels any doubt, 
and you are enveloped in a love so deep and vast that it transcends all human understanding. It is this love that defines who you are, a love that knows no bounds or conditions, a love that was demonstrated most fully on the cross, where Jesus gave his life for us. Therefore, choose to live not in the cold shadows of fear, but under the warmth and radiant light of faith. May this choice of faith not be just a sporadic moment, but the distinctive mark of your life. As you face the challenges and uncertainties that arise, may you do so with the certainty that you are accompanied by the God of the universe, that he is actively involved in every detail of your story. Live then each day with the conviction that you are stronger, wiser, and infinitely loved by God. Let this truth permeate every aspect of your life, transforming your way of seeing the world, of seeing yourself, and of interacting with others. Live fully, courageously, lovingly, not in the shadow of fear, but under the glorious and transformative light of faith. I invite you now, with an open heart and a hopeful mind, to join me in prayer. Let us approach the throne of grace with confidence, knowing that our Heavenly Father is always ready to hear and welcome us into His arms of love. Together, let us lift our hearts and voices in prayer, seeking His presence, His peace, and His guidance in our lives. Lord God, eternal and almighty Father, we come before you at this moment with hearts full of gratitude and worship. We acknowledge, Lord, that you are the creator of all things, the one who controls the universe and holds all power and wisdom. Before you, Lord, we surrender our lives, our fears, our uncertainties, and choose to place our trust in you, knowing that with you, we are more than conquerors. Beloved Father, we ask you to help us reject the fear that so often seeks to imprison us. May, through your word and your Holy Spirit, we embrace the faith that sets us free and leads us on paths of peace and victory. May, with each new dawn, we be reminded of your constant faithfulness. And may every step we take be guided by the light of your truth, illuminating our path amidst the darkness. Lord, in every moment of doubt or challenge, Strengthen us with the certainty of your presence by our side. Help us see with the eyes of faith, to recognize your hand guiding us and your voice directing us. May we, day by day, grow in our relationship with you, knowing you more deeply and experiencing the fullness of life that can only be found in you. Grant us, God of love, a courageous and willing heart to follow you, no matter the obstacles that may arise in our path. May the love you have for us, a love so deep that you chose us even before we were born, be the force that propels us to live each day under the radiant light of faith. May this love be our motivation to love others, to serve, to testify of your grace and goodness in all circumstances. Finally, Lord, we ask that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May we live not in the shadow of fear, but under the glorious light of faith, bearing witness to the world the hope we have in you. We unite our voices in prayer, confident in your promise to be with us every day until the end of time. In Jesus' name, amen.